Welcome back to my channel. In this video, you will see my mom create this bomb updo. Basically, all she did was braid up all of my hair into one bun, and then we went ahead and crocheted some pre-braided braids, um, and then we wrapped it around to create a bun. Now, before I get into this video, let me tell you about the edge control that she used on my hair. It is the truth. Um, okay. If you're a person like me, there's basically virtually all the edge controls that are out do not work on your hair, um, and that's basically what it is with me. I've tried got to be glued. It does not work. Um, so this right here laid Jesus on the cross. Okay, let me just tell you right now, it is the truth. It is the Pure Naturals Lock and Twist Gel. They do carry a, a edge control as well, but we just use the Lock and Twist Gel because it works so bomb. You can use this to retwist locks as well. She used it yesterday on me. I slept, I wrapped my hair up and took off my scarf overnight and this is how it still looks. Edges are still laid, honey. Let me just tell you. <laughs> so if you are looking for a bomb edge control or you're in the market for a bomb edge control, check out Pure Naturals. I will go ahead and link them in the description box for you guys to purchase. So if you wanna see how my mom did this bomb updo on me, go ahead and stay tuned. Hey y'all, okay, so I did start recording after she had already started um, just because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to hold the camera up while she was braiding my hair, but I managed to do the best I could. So far, you can see that she has started braiding and we're doing a very deep swoop style. Um, so she's basically taking it from one side of my ear and braiding it towards the other side and we're just basically doing that all around the head. And as you're braiding, you can definitely choose the best size for you. I do have a medium to smallish size braid, uh, but it's all up to your preference. I also, uh, while she was braiding, she did apply the edge control to basically the beginning of the braid and along the braid just to give it a smoother look. Once she finished braiding all of my hair up, uh, she did begin to combine the braids at the top of my head and basically just make little buns. And you can make two or three depending on how wide you would like your braided bun to be. After securing it with a rubber band, you should get something that looks like this. And now we're actually gonna begin to crochet the pre-braided braids on. Here is the pack of hair that I will be using. It is uh, by Innocence. This is the longest hair that uh, the hair store nearest me provided or carried. Um, so I did purchase this one. You can purchase any size or any, um, any length that you'd like. But she's just basically taking the crochet tool and feeding the braids through the little bun and just securing the crochet. We didn't knot it or anything, just put it right through the loop and that's it. Okay, 
continue this process until you reach your desired thickness and now you see that she is wrapping the braids around and we're just creating a bun you can um basically wrap like a couple of the braids around and wear the butt wear the braids down uh, but i did for for right now i wanted to wear it in a bun so she is wrapping them around uh the top and securing them with bobby pins or hair pins <laughs> And here she's just further securing the bun, making sure that it is intact. And now she's going to do the little baby hair swoop. She swooped me, y'all. <laughs> and we are using the edge control, the Pure Naturals edge control. And yes, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I was able to show you guys enough so that you can hopefully recreate this style yourself please don't forget to like this video and comment share with your friends and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys next time all right bye